Hello, welcome to my fancy electronics lab. In this video, uh, I will show you how to get data from Xiaomi Mia sensors. These uh, simple sensors will measure temperature and humidity, and usually they use BLE Bluetooth low energy protocol to send these data to smartphone. But I don't want to use smartphone, I want to show these data on ESP32 device. And in this case, I have M56C plus 2. And I will also show these data on, on my old friend TTGO T display. This is my first BLE video. Let's go. So I have four of these. Actually, I have more of them. They are in different rooms in my house. But for this project, I wanted to show data from four sensors on this tiny display. I knew that this is possible because on YouTube there are many videos. People people are using these for ESP. Uh, home and uh, home assistant systems but i don't want to use uh, esp home i want to simple standalone board where i will show temperature in my sleeping room so it took me six days to learn how to deal with ble and I run on many problems, but I was able to solve them. You can see now this project is working perfectly. I even show uh, more data than this sensor show. It is, I don't know, can you see, but this, this is battery or voltage. So now I know when I need to change my battery. I will share examples for this and TTGO T display. This is M5 stick C plus two. I showed you this board in my last video, so feel free to check that video. But first I will invite you to like, share, subscribe, uh, watch more of my videos. And if you want, you can even buy me, where is my, you can buy me coffee. I love coffee. You are probably wondering why I decided to use these two for this project. Why I'm not using something bigger like this Maker Fabs board or this fancy AMOLED. Why I decided to spend so many times and use this little screen. The reason is I was unable to make this work on any board that use ESP32 S3 and most of my new boards use ESP32 ESP S3 and it didn't work. So I'm asking you, can you please explain me what I'm doing wrong and how to make this work on ESP32 S3. So, I'm, so I use this. This is also a new board made by M5 Stack, but it, it have ESP32 Pico. And this old friend have old version of ESP32, so it worked. I love this board because as soon as I started to use this board, my channel started to grow. Back then it was only board with built-in color screen. And now you can still buy it and it is still good value for money. Now I will show you how to upload this example, how to scan your sensors, because each of these sensors have its own address. First we will find your devices and then we will make some tweaks to the library and then we will upload. I have two examples for this and for this. If you want to use this, this is this is newer and 
board it have built in a real time clock chip so you will have clock here also and a battery level and on a TT Go the display example clock and battery level are hard coded so that part will not work but you can add your real time clock chip or or your way to measure battery voltage also for scanning your devices there is app you you can use app that can help you uh, name of app is nrf connect and in that app you can see all ble devices which are nearby and our xiaomi devices are called l y w i don't know why but you can see mine here and you can connect and see uh, services which provide data you want so this app will also be helpful for this project you will need nim ble arduino library you can find link in description so you will install that library you will connect board you want to use for example td go t display and now you can go to my examples you will also find github link uh, in my that git repository you will find three examples one is for tt go one is for m5 stick c plus two and but first you want to use this example which will uh, scan all your ble devices in C and show them in a serial monitor so first i will run this i already uploaded this to my board so i will reconnect it and we will monitor serial monitor and you can see these are mine you won't find these devices i don't know why they have <laughs> name which look like this but these are our scanners and you will copy this and then next you you can go to example which depends on your board for example for the, the go t display i will go in i will go to this and you will paste your found devices here and you will need to figure out which one goes to kitchen floor outside and or bedroom kids room you can change these names of these names of rooms so if you find out that this one is in your kitchen you will copy this and place on first place so our devices are here one two three four and these are names so you need just modify these two lines also you will notice if this works you will notice that you you are getting uh, you are getting data f only from the first three device this is because number of default number of BLA connection in this library is 3 so you will need to edit it. that you will go to you will go to your NIM BLE library src and here you will find this nim config.h file you will open this sorry and here inside you will find these two lines config bt nimble max connection you will put here 4 
default value is 3 and here also config bt nimble max bones also default value is 3 so you need to on the both places you need put 4 and that's it now we have a uh, one more tt go this is some my old project which <laughs> major resistance now we have another tt go which shows temperature on these four sensors thank you this was interesting topic and i learned a lot using this this method can be used on any bla device so you can practically fetch data from your i don't know smart watch bracelet uh, there are many devices that use BLE today thank you please let me know in comments did you watch whole video i'm always happy when people watch my youtube tells me that people watch my video average is two minutes so i'm very happy when someone watch whole video and if you are new here please subscribe and i also love to see new members of this community have a nice weekend bye